Hi, now in this video of CSS3, we will talk about the animations in it. So far, when we were doing the transformation, maybe 2D or 3D transformation, you were not getting that exact picture. Maybe it was something like if it is rotated, you may be not getting how it is getting rotated. But using the animation, you can get some animated things as well. For example, you may get a moving text using the animation. You may get some rotational boxes of div tag, obviously, using the animations. So here, what we will do, we will just set a starting position and the finishing position and this animation will take us between that particular path, all right? So let's see a practical where we will put some basic animations using CSS3. All right, so now let's hear it for the animation. So let's start with a very basic example where like all the previous videos, most of the previous videos which we were doing is I'm creating a box with the width 150, height 150 means it is a square shape, background color red, all right? So it is like a normal box, but after that it starts with the animation thing. So what are the things out there? First thing is we have to put the name of animation because there could be number of DIVs, there could be number of element where you want to perform animation of different type. So for specifying each animation, you will give it a unique name. Like here, I have taken the name example. Now after example, it is a name. Like after that, it is about for how many duration you are preparing this animation. So for me, I'm taking it four seconds. This WebKit one is again for the Safari and this one is the default syntax so that all the browsers can support my animations. Now, in these four seconds, what all I want to do? So that we'll have to set by using the keyframes. So again, for keyframes, it is WebKit keyframe for Safari and normal keyframes for the uh, all the default browsers. All right. And when you specify keyframes, you will have to tell also like which particular example means which particular uh, animation because here I have given the name. So you will have to specify for which particular element you are going to perform this keyframe thing. So I'm doing it for the example. What I want to do, I will start the color transformation like the background color. I will change it from red to yellow. All right. So since you can see background color is already red. So I will start it from red. So both will get mixed and then I will change the color to yellow in four seconds. All right. So as you can see, it is for that particular DIV whose ID is my DIV. So in body, I only have one DIV with the ID my DIV. So let's save it, come to the browser and refresh it. So in the four seconds of time, this box will transform itself from red to yellow. As soon as the transformation is over, it will come back to its original one because I have given a default background color to this DIV that is red. All right. So again, I will refresh in four seconds. It will come from red to yellow. And once it is done, it will come back to its default one. So this was just about the uh, key frames thing where I changed the background color. Similarly, you can change this position also, whatever you want. So now in this second example, I'm going to add some more things here. The animation name and duration will remain same, but I'm going to make some changes. Like in the previous one, it was starting from red and finishing with yellow. But if you want to take it from red to green by passing some of the colors, you can do that as well. So what I'm doing here, I'm using percentage thing right here. So at 0% means at the very beginning, the background color of example means for this particular animation will start from red. Once the 25% of the time will take place, 25% means the one second. All right. It is because it's total four second. So when the 25% of the time will pass, I will change it to yellow. Again, when 50% will be over, it will be blue. And then at the 100th percent means when it is completed, it will turn into green. So I'm just 
making it from red to green by passing the colors like yellow and blue. Similarly, the same thing I'm doing it here. This one is for the Safari again and this one is the default syntax using keyframes. So still I have that div, my div out here in the body. So let's save it, come to the browser. Let's refresh it so you can see. All right. So let's refresh it starting from red, yellow, blue and green. All right. So comparatively, you can see yellow is staying for lesser period of time because only from 0 to 25, it is being there. But from 50 to 100, it's blue. So the transformation between the blue and green is comparatively slower. All right. So this is how it is happening. And once it is done, it is again coming back to red, which is the default color. So now, so far, we were just making the changes in color. Let's see what all we can do. So let's make some changes in this particular code so that we will be able to make the changes in the position as well. So as here, all the things are same like the height, the width, the background color, the example, the name of the animation and the duration. Just one thing is more added that is position because obviously I'm going to change the position. So I will have to tell like according to what I'm going to make the changes. So it is relative positioning. So whatever changes you will do, it will be relatively to the previous change. So at the 0th percent means from the very beginning, it will be left 0, top 0 means it will be at the topmost position. Now after that, when it is 25% done, it is yellow in color and it will move 200 pixel from left. All right, means it will move towards right to 200 pixel. When it is 50% done, it is still 200 pixel left, but it will come 200 pixel from the top. That means it will move down to 200 pixel. When 70% will be done, it is 0% means it is going towards left in the same height. And when 100% will be done, it will be to its original position. That is, it started from 0 to 0, it will be at 0, 0. All right. So let's save it, come to the browser, make the changes. You see, it is moving. All right. It is not getting repeatedly, but yes, it is moving. Like this is 0, 0, now 0, 200, 200, 200, 200, 0, and 0, 0. All right. So that is about the left and the top values, which I was reading out. Now, if you want to make some delay in the animation, you can add animation delay. All right. So when I add animation delay two seconds, that means after two seconds, the animation will start taking place. And similarly, I will do it for WebKit also. Like I will add WebKit hyphen animation delay two seconds. All right. So let's save it. Let's see how the changes are done. So after two seconds, you see it has started moving. All right. Let me refresh it. One, two, and now it started. All right. So this is about the delay. Now you see like once it is done, it is stopped. If you want to make it repetitive, you can add one more option out here. Let's see what is that. And that is animation iteration count. Here I said it three. Similarly, I will say the same thing for the WebKit also. All right. So animation iteration count is three. So it will go on for three times. All right. So let's see. After two seconds, it will start. So this is the one cycle. This is the second cycle. Delay will be only for the first time. And this one is the third cycle. All right, now it is done. So if you want, you can also write in finite or any particular number. So let's refresh after two seconds. All right, so it is one, two, three. It's not going to stop obviously after three as well and it will keep moving unless you make some changes or you do whatever. All right. Okay. Now there is something more called the direction. So animation, iteration, 
direction you can make it reverse also all right and similarly here also webkit let me copy from here it will be just i think animation i will remove iteration i think i iteration is not there so animation direction all right so animation direction that will be reverse all right so let's save the changes come to the browser and now after 2 seconds it will start in the reversed direction all right you can also make it alternate so once it will be in the correct direction next time it will be reversed so i'm changing in both the places it is alternate so first time it will go to the actual position actual direction and next time it will just reverse all right so it will be alternate once it is single it means clockwise second time it is anti clockwise all right so these are the things like obviously when it comes to animation you can do a lot of things out there but yeah this is some of the basics using which you can start planning what all you want while working with the animations